welcome to my review of the Surface Go. Um, I don't really know what to put here, but yes, this is the review of the Surface Go. So as you can, so I get, I guess I'll get straight into it. Here is the, here is the Pentium four four one five. So this model is equipped with the Pentium four four one five, as all of them are. I think, yep, one twenty eight gigs of storage and eight gigs of RAM. Um, the RAM is L LPDDR three. And storage, we've got a Toshiba KBG30ZPZ128G SSD. And this is a Pentium Gold, technically, but it doesn't treat it as a Pentium Gold. That's just a Microsoft, no, not Microsoft, an Intel naming brand thing. Now, in terms of, I guess, the tablet itself, right? Like the, in terms of the actual tablet part, like this touchscreen, right? You've got You've got a 10 inch 3x2. I should have definitely put this in the specification sheet I have open in Notion right now. This is a 10 inch 1800 by 1200 3x2 display. So it fits if I open something that I know won't make my face. If I get my review notes in, as you can see, it fits everything. If I mark these full width on. Notion looks pretty good. This is a 60 hertz display, as you know you would expect. The GPU in here is a is some H is an Intel HD graphics 615 I think chip. Um, it can handle up to 4K 30 output, which is I guess pretty standard for these low end chips. I currently have a USB C monitor, or not monitor, but USB-C dongle, which is connected to a second monitor, as you can kind of see around here. That's the secondary monitor. Now, I'm going to get into, I guess, things I like about this tablet. It's pretty small, like this is two of my hands, and I like the bezels that are on the side because I can hold them without knowing I'm going to touch them. I really like the kickstand, which I'll display, I think. There's a kickstand. It's really nice. The touch screen is pretty good. If I open like the keyboard, I nope, that's gonna be sensitive stuff. I really like the keyboard. Pretty nice. Um, now I'm running Windows 11 on this, so everything might be a bit you know slower than you might see on Windows 10. But for the most part, 11 does work pretty well, especially since I've introduced folders now. As for things like the pen, I think the best app to do this will, the best app to do this will surely paint. And as you can see, the surface pen, which is another great part about this, is you know focus, please. Yep, it's pretty good as well. Um now what I do have to mention is that you can you can also have an optional type cover. Here's my unit. Um, unfortunately, though, this is a so this is a first gen, I guess. Officially, it's not called a first gen, but I call it the first gen either way because it's got the backlight key here, right? But if you do, but my E and L keys don't work sometimes. So if I've got this connected, let's say it's like connected, it's not, right? But let's say this theoretically this was connected, right? I would press E and it wouldn't like, register the letter E. I press like L and it wouldn't register the letter L. Um, other than that, my type cover is pretty worn out. I haven't had this since launch, I've only had this for a month now. And the type cover is also used, which is pretty much expected for it to be, you know, not the greatest of quality, but I didn't expect it to, you know, be this broken by now. It could just be a defective unit, because not many people have units that E and L keys don't work, or certain keys don't work. Um, my touchscreen as well, if I extend this enough, You'll be able to see that a certain area, wait, a certain area, which it doesn't really do justice, but as you can see, if I try to draw in here, I can't. So that's an issue I also have. I've got a broken dead spot. However, this doesn't apply to all surface units, as you can clearly tell. This is only applying to my unit, which is defective. How so? I'm not satisfied right now. But to be fair, I did get this for 150 with the type cover. The pen was free for a relative that didn't want a pen from for their Surface to go to anymore. Uh, what else? 
Or is that only a price? Oh yeah, this laptop cover. Also, no, that looks like nothing. That laptop cover that I have as well. Um, that came with the laptop or Surface, I should say, for one fifty on Facebook Marketplace. Eleven is pretty good. Uh, the audio just changed as the head I'm running. Eleven is pretty good. Um, it does bug out sometimes. I've had if I my screen shows right now. I've had three issues or three blue screens at least. I think I only have two saved. Two. Two green screens on Windows Eleven Insider for Windows related to Hello. And what happened is if I have it off, I have I have it off for the type of close. I turn it on and I plug in the charger straight away. It just freezes. Now generally I have my tablet on battery saver. It doesn't affect when I'm on like power, it doesn't do that, right? But if I am not on power, I have battery saver always on. Yeah, that's I guess that's about it. The bug in insider. Um, the Start Explorer patch also stopped working for me recently, so I had, I can't use it. Hello also doesn't like to work all the time, which is expected. I've had bad like issues with Hello before already. Um, but I guess a good thing about this is that since this is, I guess, older, but it's got a more premium-ish chip, right? This is better than my previous laptop, which is which it is sitting on right now. This is the Asus Spin 1. And that had a Celeron N400 with 4 gigs of RAM only and 64 gigs of EMM EMMC storage. Um, with editing, I can actually edit with this, right? If my timeline's pretty good, like time I'm scrolling, I can scroll through it, no stutter, press play, no stutter on like low to medium playback quality in Premiere Rush 2022. And that's with handling 1080p 60 footage, which is what I'm doing or using right now. Um, as for Windows 11 performance in both, the Acer was much more slower, definitely. And that was a supported machine according to Microsoft. And this is not supported. I actually have to reuse the registry tweaks. I think I can show off that it's not supported and I don't want to right now. But it, this isn't supported technically. So I was expecting this to have worse performance than 11. It has way better performance. To be fair, this is a more premium chip again, but I mean, Microsoft said it's not compatible. The compatibility means that, you know, it should be from this fast. I feel like this is another Vista kind of thing. What happened was that with Vista was Microsoft had designed for, not designed, was it designed? Or designed for Vista or something similar, or like Vista compatible, right? Vista compatible stickers on computers. And that should have meant you should be able to upgrade them to Vista. That was only to Home Basic and you didn't get all the advertisements things. And whatnot. This is kind of like what Microsoft has been doing with 11. You can run 11 on basically any compatible computer that Microsoft says is compatible, but you don't get the best experience. And even some lower or more premium older devices that aren't compatible will run it totally better than a compatible low end device. I guess what else I said to explore is that the world of W Windows, you know, Windows subsystem for Android, I don't use it that often. I, if I'm watching YouTube, I use my chip. The app hasn't been updated in a while, in my opinion, or oh, just the look. It doesn't look very Windows 11-like, but it does look very Windows 10-like. Um, I use Notion, and Notion on this is pretty good. It, Notion is another Electron app. I know people don't like Electron generally, generally, but it's an Electron app. It's just, it's about as good as Discord, if I can load this up without leaking anything. If I leak something, then that's gonna be horrible. But here's Discord running on this, right? It's Electron app, and I generally have two Electron apps running. Here's my review notes. Uh -huh. Let me just collapse that. And they run both pretty well. I can like scroll. I know that Electron doesn't usually work amazingly on most computers, but it does on this. Props to, props to um, I guess, the hardware for running so well. I'm going to issue with some apps like Studio. I can't expand the sidebar. I'm not showing my face, but the sidebar right there. I can't expand it. And I'm also annoyed with inside. I can't drag these. Like I'm holding it and I can't drag it, which is annoying. Other than that, 11 is pretty good. Especially for a tablet, I can just swipe up, swipe, swipe up, swipe down, swipe up. And I get the start menu. Pretty nice. I love the folders. I think I prefer them on the previous build. This is 
2259 3.1 and the folders are slightly larger I don't like that I prefer them to be a bit smaller I know some people on reddit were complaining it was too large or small sorry other than that I pretty much like this tablet a lot um my only complaint really is that it's it's underpowered way underpowered I want to be able to run at least an i3 in here which I know Microsoft does have the capacity to um go three has an i3 but you need to have a fan in it that's the issue surface product don't usually have a fan this isn't your ipad this isn't your typical samsung galaxy tablet this is a full-blown windows 11 or 10 pc i should have a fan that calls the calls the desktop or laptop class cpu in my tablet i'm also annoyed that Surface Connect is only exclusive to the Surface type covers and not any of the generic type. Other than that, it's amazing products. I don't have benchmark scores, unfortunately. I might add them in later. So this is just for me, but I might add in benchmark scores later. But that's my quickest or quick-ish review of the Surface Go. I actually have to go somewhere, so I need to wrap this up now. If you did like this video, um. Stick around in a couple of weeks' time. I will be making a lot of videos with this. And I'll, and if you like it as well, just press the like button. Um, dislike doesn't really show. I don't really care if you press dislike. Comment what you want to see next, I guess. And subscribe if you're wanting to look at, for, look at more content similar to this. Bye, guys.